Got another walkthrough for you. Today we're looking at a 2004 Winnebago Journey. This is a 34H model. It's only about 35 feet overall. Now it's still a diesel pusher. You got a 300 Cummins in here. A nice Allison transmission. We just took this coach in today. I got to do some paint work and clean her up. We haven't even gave her a bath yet, but it's good to check out a floor plan, even of a short diesel pusher. Still got your big 22.5 tires. To be exact, 245, 75, 22.5. Outdoor entertainment here in that first compartment. You see you got a little bit of storage above too. Same with the next storage compartment. And a little pull out, I guess, you know, a little drawer for a, uh, like a cooler or something. Or just to make your life easier, grabbing stuff out of the storage compartment. Got a big old propane tank here. 37.6 gallons, absolutely massive. This is a full body paint coach. You know, it is an 04, so it's 16 years old. Starting to get a little bit of signs of that fiberglass cracking that you get in these older coaches that, you know, they just, they've been used. They've seen a little bit of sun. But really, it's really not bad at all. Nice big battery compartment here. Pull out drawers. Now it's a basement air system. So you have no rooftop AC. It's all basement. But it's two compressor anywhere between 26 to 28,000 BTU output. So very similar to a uh, rooftop AC. 10,000 pound hitch right here. Rear radiator. You got a ladder extension get up there, a couple slide toppers. One thing Winnebago does is I love how they paint the inside of the slides when they're out. They actually use the same kind of, not decals, but the same paint stripes on the slide so it looks nice and clean. And take for that uh, AC. Got a side latch door here for your power 50 amp inverter and then outdoor water fill it looks like and bypasses. And then your actual dump stations right here. Got your gray and your black right there and then the pass through. Now this slide, you got two slides. The slide behind me is a wardrobe slide. The slide in front of me is a galley slide for your couch and kitchen. We'll see that when we go inside. Now you got this it's not a pasture storage, but a storage that is pretty big. I mean, it comes out with the slide, so you don't have to bend down to access it. And you can store quite a bit in there. And then the last one, generator exhaust there. Just a small little compartment. Fuel fill right there behind that front tire. And then your gen set's an Onan 7500. Not on a slide out, but still easily accessible with that kind of hood all right a couple steps up now right to the left we got your you know controls awning control door control lights you do have a little extension for the passenger seat and a step cover that comes out this is so cool winnebago used to put these in a lot of their coaches walkie talkies and believe it or not 75 percent of them are here which is kind of crazy all right so there's the first quick look like I said, a two slide system. It's on a Freightliner chassis. Over here on the left, you got your leveling jacks. Not auto, it is manual, but you still gotta make it easy. 27,910 gross vehicle weight rating. Visor controls for both the passenger and driver. And then you got a curtain that wraps around to be your nighttime storage. Electronic shifter. And you got all your standard diesel pusher stuff. Exhaust brake, light controls power controls there's actually slide controls up here which is a little bit different on the winnebago's for the backup camera nice little pull out drawer there or drawer cabinet cubby whatever you want to call it <laughs> air horn of course old school tv up front it is an 04 but you can upgrade that to a flat screen and make it look nice and clean storage above look at that 10 disc cd player talk about revolutionary now there's your switch box, DVD, VH, DVD. There's just so much great technology in this thing. And then you actually, there's a wine guard system on top, so you do have a satellite. Now, it's probably outdated, honestly, but you can still have all the wiring and stuff up there that you would need. All right, now, Winnebago started as a furniture company back in the 60s, and I love their furniture. It really withstands the test of time. So you got a little center console there that lifts up, pulls down, and then this actually will electrically lay flat. It's kind of hard to see with my nice 
close viewing angle, but I'll step back for you. So you can't make that a sleeper. Nice flat, all with the push of a button. And then across from that, you got just a standard chair and you can see a pop out desk right there too. Now this coach model came with a booth dinette, which some people like, some don't. They want the table and chairs. I like them. You got spring loaded seats and a lot of storage under each of these. This can drop down to make it a sleeper. And you got a little bit of storage above the dinette. These should all be connected. And then you got your kitchen. Corian countertops throughout. Convection microwave because there is no oven. But you got the Corian covers up top. It could be a little bit extra counter space if need be. And I think we're missing one cover. But you got one for the sink. I love these little things. Little bread box right here. And I don't know if you saw, but there is storage. I mean, wow, storage, wow. Uh, power out right there. Above, and this is part of the slide. Good storage above there to the right of the microwave. And then I'm gonna show you these, very similar to above the dinette where they're just all connected. Those three. And then over here, check this out. Gotta replace that, but extra counter space and Pantry storage, very nice. Drawers under the stovetop. Nice and deep. This one's even bigger. What is this, sponge drawer? Sponge drawer. Oh, and then you got an area to store those Corian covers right there. And then last but not least in the kitchen, besides the fridge, just a little pop out more hey free level a couple drawers right there and of course this beautiful looking spice rack don't look at the mirror <laughs> four door nor cold propane or electric fridge bottom two fridge top two freezer and you got some side shelves oh we're missing some shelves there there's one and then up above ice maker and freezer and then just standard freezer Across from the fridge. Oh, wait, what's down here? Oh, circuit breakers. Across from the fridge. You got, I don't know what you'd store there. Put a shelf or two, perfect for alcohol. You got your control panel, AC, levelers, battery testers, generator with 377.6 hours. Yeah. AC is fully ducted through the roof, even though it is basement. Now coming in here, you got, look at the counter space in the bathroom, I love it. And it's not that cheap, you know, kind of vinyl stuff. It is very similar to what it is in the kitchen. And a good amount of storage space. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice this before. It's like we're staying in a hotel. That is phenomenal. Oh, you know what that is? That's a laundry chute doesn't shoot anywhere except for under there, but I'll show you why in a second. Now, your shower, it's a beautiful shower. It is a corner shower, one piece fiberglass, so you can be pretty tall and fit in here. I mean, I'm not very tall, I'm 5'9", plenty of room left. And then kind of interesting, the way that the shower head drops down, I'm sure you could put it higher, but that is unique. And it does have a little seat in here. I have done extensive research and found out those are about a 250 pound capacity. Now across from that, you got the split toilet. Now it is China toilet, so it's not that cheap old plastic you see so often. A little bit of storage above the toilet. Fantastic, oh, let me not drop my phone. Fantastic fan. In front of the toilet up above. Ooh, I bet you wonder what those water lines are. You got it. It's a washer and dryer. Combo unit. We'll wash, we'll dry. Not as efficient as a stack, but definitely better than nothing. And a little drawer down below for detergent or I don't know, whatever else you store in there for laundry rooms. Continuing on, we got your master bedroom. There is a slide in here, like I said. It is a closet slide, and it's right there. So it gives you a good amount of closet space because you don't have a slide for the bed. Oh, and if you need to the iron, there you go. And these are pretty cool, these turn on automatically with a push or a push of a button opening the closet and then your rest of the closet space is not so bad and that's these two connected too of course now down below got four of these drawers they look to be all the same size nice and big 
to the right of the bed, three more drawers, and a nice little side table and power right there. Hard to see because my video sucks. On the other side, same thing, power, phone jack, gotta have your phone jack in here. Baby little drawer, and another. But you still have the side table, which is kind of nice. Now let's see, is there storage under the bed? There is, and look, the, the struts actually aren't gonna fall. That's how you get to the actual <laughs> engine bay, but down below, break box. Yeah. And then, of course, above the bed, you got those four drawers. Should also all be connected. Let's go look. Yeah, so you can see they are all connected. So a decent size. And then top right corner over there, slide control and a TV and a little cubby. And then right below it, they put a direct TV box. Yeah. There you go. Quick little walkthrough of our 2004 Winnebago Journey. It's a 34H model. It's got a 300 Cummins in it. Allison electronic shifter. Should be the 2000 series or the 2000 and 2500MH series. Don't quote me on that. But I hope you enjoyed it. I'll give you one last peek at the old outside. That's beautiful. Uh, the awning is electric. Probably should have mentioned that earlier. And then so is the actual door awning too. Okay. Thank you for viewing the video. Hope you guys have a great day.